here of course St. Lawrence Market in Toronto and it's one example of things that are right next door but they're just lovely I should go more just walk around you're like stimulation different kinds of things interesting foods if you just try them with your eyes taste with your eyes it's like when they're shopping for food I saw a guy in uh, Trinidad a guy who I said hello on the way in here you also run into people which is interesting I think that's something's hard to in Toronto compared to countries like Trinidad what I really like is um, downstairs they have a prep place I find it's quite good but they have this I think it's a Ukrainian place that has interesting kind of dried sausages and they're fantastic because they're fighting like a constant war against hunger like not being hungry because then it makes it hard to focus you get more um, irritable and so I always need to like stash protein around the place it's like very filling foods so I'm going to go and get some of those because those salami things are interesting they don't really um Thanks. My parents told me a time they went to Italy and they got served something on a plate and they had no idea what it is or how to eat it. Like they literally just couldn't, like didn't know what to do with it. And they actually asked the waiters and it turns out that it was figs. They'd never seen like a like a actual fig before, they'd only seen dry ones. How do I get downstairs? There's some stairs in here somewhere. Interesting how you can be a place many times or not. Doing the structure of navigation. Like a tourist, like a tourist I am, eh? You just get caught in a video blog, that's okay? <laughs> but here's the theme being a tourist in your own city, being a tourist in your own town, you know, just appreciate everything around you, you know? Yeah, you go home. Yeah, you go. I do do that, eh? My cousin said he said to watch some, you don't mind, I'm not on you, but what do you say again, Cap? That's okay? He said, Joseph, when I see you do a video blog, I feel like you just landed on planet Earth. You're like, Look at all this stuff around us! Look at this tree! <laughs> I thought, that was funny, that was a Trinidad person I ran into. Um, okay, I found the downstairs. Hashtag tourists in your own town. I think I should make these videos a bit shorter. It's a good question, but actually it's a better frame. The question is... How can I randomize and try both approaches to figure out in what context and under what circumstances they're more versus less helpful? Try, I try and convert, it's hard, but not how brains work, but try to convert questions about what's the best approach to, what are many things I could test out to figure out in what setting they do well at what? That's a crap place I always go to. But let me try and be a bit healthy. Well, people, healthy is a, a broad term with many meanings. You try and focus on some Filling things. I like crab, so I find after crab, 45 minutes, I'm starving. This is the place. Yes, that's it. Asher, very famous researcher. <laughs> I sent this picture to him. He does machine learning, reinforcement learning. And yeah, his name is actually Chaba, so I'm hungry. 